Okay, so little Gilson update. Uh, I got all my tires on. Um, and thanks to W1 Weasel. Thank you, man. A good tire with air in it. And it's holding like crazy. It's been days and it's still at the same tire pressure. Here's the tire. Oh, forget it. Here's the tire that came out of it. Let me uh, let me show you what what is inside of this thing. And uh, this is why I kept leaking black fluid. I don't know what they used in here, or what they put in here. Sawdust? I'm not sure. But it's horrid. It's just like mud and muck. And no wonder this thing wouldn't hold air. And I had a heck of a time getting it off, let me tell you. But, uh, look at that sludge. But this is my big, this was the reason it was leaking right there. It was actually leaking through there. So, anyway. So, cool. Got that. Uh, W1 Weasel? I got the wrong end, buddy. <laughs> you gave me the end I have. So, <clears throat> Uh, if you have the other end, that would be awesome, because um, it's basically the same one. If you don't, um, uh, whether you do or you don't, uh, I'm going to run this back to you, because um, I only got the one tractor, you have many, you're more likely to need this than I am. Um, so, big shout out to W1 Weasel, a hell of a guy, I met him um, Monday. He was Monday. Um, he's just a great guy. I would have, if I didn't have anything going on Monday, I would have just sat there for hours or until he kicked me out, just talking with him. He's a, he's the neighbor I wish I had. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, sir. Beautiful. Um, as far as that goes, uh, the only thing I'm waiting on now is uh, paint. I got a paint. The parts, they're all ready. Uh, I ordered a Rust-Oleum Alice Chambers Orange. Uh, it's as close to the Waukesha Orange that would, these were painted as I could get without custom ordering Waukesha Orange, and I don't want to do that. That would be too expensive. Um, the uh, paint I've ordered will be closer than the uh, orange paint I have, so... <clears throat> I think at the end of the day that'll be good enough. Uh, oh, and W1 Weasel. Uh, I checked on that uh, tractor. Um, that's a hell of a deal for seven hundred dollars. You get the tractor, which supposedly runs and has a V twin. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the twin cylinder, sixteen horse. Uh, it's in kind of rough shape, just like this one was. But I mean, it supposedly it runs. the The attachments are in great shape. the t The tiller, the snow plow, and the snow thrower, and the deck. Uh, he must have recently repainted them. Anyway, uh, I messaged the guy. I'm trying to buy just the attachments I need because I don't have room or the seven hundred dollars for the whole thing. So, hopefully, he'll sell me the snow plow and the tiller, which is really all I want. Um. But other than that, uh, once once the body parts are painted, I can put this back, the shroud back on, get the wiring hooked up, put the uh, gas tank in, and fire up. Uh, it's going to need work. I cleaned and bench synced the carb. Basically, what that means is, you know, I basically just went with the default settings on the jets. Um, so we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll start and run. I'm hoping. Um, if not, then, you know, I'll have to play with it. Uh, but, like, you know, this screw is set to, I think, two out or something like that. I, I found the default setting, so it's set to whatever that is. Same with the screw under here, back in here. Can't see it, but it's there. So, we'll see. Um, I did shorten the plug wire, because that's not too bad. Um, but before I shortened it, it was like looping. It was like looping way out here, you know. So, um, uh, otherwise, I think I'm in good shape. Uh, the brakes are working finally, which is cool. Um, and that's about it. There's really not much else to talk about about it right now. So, uh, 
that'll be uh, the update for the Gilson.